Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about what are oil catch cans, what they do, and how they work. And so getting right into it, looking here we have our engine. Here is our engine block. Within it we have the cylinder sleeve, our piston, connecting rod, crankshaft, uh, things like that. So here we have our engine. We've got the exhaust on one side, the intake on the other. And in order to talk about oil catch cans, we kind of need to understand blow-by. And for a greater explanation of how this actually works, I have a video on piston rings, uh, which I get into great detail. But essentially you have a combustion occur within your piston cylinder device. And some of that combustion leaks past, some of that air leaks past into your crankcase. And so that adds uh, pressure to this crankcase. And within this crankcase, not only do you have that air, but you have kind of an oil mist. You have the contaminants that are leaking in, uh, the fuel perhaps. And so you've got this mixture of air and oil and fuel and contaminants and things like that that are going to be mixing around within your crankcase. Now, if you have blow-by occur uh, for a significant duration, of course, you're going to build up the pressure within this engine block. So you need to be able to let that pressure escape. And so that's why we have a PCV valve or a positive crankcase ventilation valve. Now, that what that does is it allows that air to escape. And so that air escapes. Uh, what we've got here is a mixture, though, of air and, you know, oil contaminants and oil mist uh, somewhat in there. And so traditionally what you'll do is you'll reroute that back to your intake. So you're drawing in air from your intake. This is pulling a vacuum. This is going to be at a higher pressure. So it's going to draw that in and put it back into your combustion chamber. Well, that means you're taking that oil mist and you're putting it on your intake valves. You're putting it on your pistons, things like that. And of course, you can have things build up. You can have gunk build up because of that. So what an oil catch can does is you're rerouting that uh, that air and those contaminants and oil and things like that into this catch can. And so you can see you've got one tube coming in and that's going to drop everything in. And then you've got a filter, you've got baffles, uh, and those are going to block off that oil so that only the air can get past and then you can reroute that air back in. Now you're going to have different quality of oil catch cans out there. So you want to make sure that there's actually something going on inside. Some of them will literally just have two hoses, uh, just a real cheap thing where you have one hose coming in and then another hose, and you're really not going to be doing all that much. You want to make sure you've got uh, like a filter or some baffling systems in there so that that oil can't leave. And so you catch all of that oil in there, uh, and then that air is rerouted back in, and you don't have to worry about getting gunk, uh, getting that oil, spraying it on your intake valves, getting on your pistons, things like that. And so the benefits of using something like this uh, you can prevent knock or pre-ignition uh, by not inserting these contaminants within there. If those contaminants were to heat up, uh, they could cause you know, different scenarios where you could have knock or pre-ignition. You can also you know, try and prevent some of that carbon buildup that's going to occur on your intake valves and on your pistons uh, because you're going to be rerouting that stuff so that you're no longer spraying that oil right back on top of your uh, intake valve or on top of your piston. Uh, so some good benefits of using something like this. Now you will have to drain this occasionally, of course, as it fills up with oil. Um, and so we're going to get into kind of, you know, why isn't something, a system like this more prevalent uh, on the market? And I think there's a couple of reasons, uh, two of the major ones being it's an added cost, it's an added object that you have to throw in there and you can kind of get away with just rerouting it and burning it off. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, people are lazy. That's the reality of it. People just don't want another maintenance task uh, and having to drain this every so often would be another maintenance task. So if you think about uh, why water methanol never took off, um, which I do have a video explaining how that works, uh, same type of thing. It's something that you have to refill over time. People just want to put in gas and go and forget about it. Uh, remembering to change their oil is challenge enough. And so, you know, similar thing with diesel urea injection. You know, people don't want to add uh, that urea in order to have those injectors uh, have the clean exhaust fluid. And so that's another thing uh, that people just kind of forget to do uh, along with that water methanol injection. So it's just another step uh, that isn't necessary, uh, but it can certainly help prevent, you know, getting your pistons dirty or your valves dirty. Uh, so something that could be worthwhile doing. So thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below.